And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan Fukuoka at the Fukuoka International Center. We've got some K1 super welterweight action for you. In the red corner, Kotetsu. Taking on, in the blue, Kenta. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Boom. Let's get into this. So, one hell of an age difference. 13 years. Kotetsu, 37. And Kenta, 24. It's young lion versus old lion. You know, you're absolutely right. Uh, now, that, now that I look at that, yep, that, that is 13 full years. That's, a, that's big. That's big. <laughs> that's big. A lot of people don't know how big that is, but that's gigantic. Wow. The older you get, the, far, the bigger the gap is, you realize, holy <laughs> camole. Well, but these are sometimes the most interesting matchups to watch. Absolutely. A real contrast. And to be fair, Kotetsu does not look 37 in great condition here. He's obviously really well drilled. Oh yeah, he looks great for 37. My gosh. Absolutely. Very upright. Very lean. Of course, the, uh, the height advantage going to the younger man, Kenton, mm -hmm. but only two centimeters, 180 to 178. Yeah. So, not much in it. You will see it, um, this matchup here, it's more open stance. We've got Southpaw versus Orthodox, and right off the bat, about three or four huge rear leg kicks, at least from both guys. Ooh, there you go. It's, it's just like fighting with baseball bats. I go, you go, I go, you go. Who's Ooh, gonna... low blow there, I think. Oh. Yep, well, and that happens a lot too. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Ooh, look that looks pain. painful. Yeah, he's doing that. He's doing that kind of jig and squat. Yeah, yeah. Don't uh, don't touch him. Count him. Yeah. A few deep breaths. This thing goes in, but he's back. Good man. Good man. The referee's obviously happy there and. It wasn't a clean, clean touch. Ooh, he's, he's, he's game, man. He is going for it. Kenta is uh, hanging right in there and swinging away. Ooh, a nice body shot ripped from below there. He can shot too. You can see that so much. Good, uh, good body work from Kenta. And as you mentioned earlier, Tumas Kotex with just a real upright style here. Um, which I mean, yeah, he's going to make his no. rear leg kick. Absolutely. Very tight on the guard, and you know what, you can really tell his age, because he's learned how to be composed, conserve his energy. Look how methodical he is right now. Yeah. Just testing his man out, asking questions. In the guard eye, he's, he is driving forward with the front kick, um, so he uses his rear leg very well. Um, not, not such a Muay Thai style pushing front kick but more of a karate style percussive attack um, that, yeah, you can see Kenta's probably already a little aware of the ball of um, Kotetsu's foot driving into his stomach. He's got to be careful because that kick is effective. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kotetsu now coming forward. Yeah, pushing the pace a little bit more. I'm loving what uh, Kenta's trying to do with his left hand. He's trying to come over mm -hmm. the right side of Kotetsu there. He's obviously had a little bit of uh, success with that. He's looking to get behind that a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Well, and what Kotetsu has done effectively here now in kind of the last minute of this round uh, is kind of shut down the lane for the, for the left-handed attack from Kenta by that, that rear leg front kick. It's kind of taken away those opportunities, whereas off the bat, Kenta landed that thing uh, at will. And Kenta's coming on a little bit stronger now. I'm loving the variety of the body work there. Yeah, yeah. With an upright style, you can do it. Oh, here we go. Is Kenta going to try and, you know, just nudge it for the judges? Come on, strong right? Yeah, yeah, just throw a big flurry at the end here. Oh, we shall see. Kotetsu, yep, use it. He's got that. And it looks, it doesn't, it's not a flashy technique, but that rear leg front kick that he just consistently throws is just really hard to deal with. He's got such good range on it, too. Yeah, it's just, it's there all the time. It's annoying. It's not terribly fast, but it's long, and when it touches you, it hurts. Mm. It can stop you in the tracks, and you can see he's just, he just got all that experience of using it. He's so comfortable with it in there. Yeah, wow. Well, once again, you know, pretty close round overall. I think they had some really good punches early on. Yeah. If anything, I mean, if I was in Kenta's corner right now, you know, the, the leftover is working quite nice. 
but I would be trying to get a little bit more body work in there. Mm. Yeah, he's got to he's got to move inside. He's got to engage at a closer range, not let that front kick land. Absolutely. I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with chucking a feint out there and then switching angle once you've lured the yeah. guy out and just engaging. Mm -hmm. Well, Fatuka has the toolkit. He's got the body shots to work on the inside, but he's got to get in there safely. Ooh, here we go. Both having success early here and just leave a man willing to back down. Yeah, we went a, a super welterweight as well, these, these guys. Um, they've got the, a great combo of speed, power, and weight behind their strikes as well. Very nice. Yeah, well, and, and hardly any of this has taken place in the corner on the ropes. They're just throwing down right in the middle of the ring. Absolutely. You notice Kenta's stepping to his right there. Just mm. trying to find a nice little angle in which to engage. Yeah. Mm, Kenta using the front kick um, himself there. Yeah, if he can stay on the inside, he's going to force Kotetsu to have to adapt and switch from a front kick to a knee. Let's see if he can do that. Mm. Oh, here we go. A little bit of a wobble there. Kotetsu clearly finding the mark. Kenta, I think he's uh, doing a good job at hiding it. Oh! Go. Here we go. Here we go. One thing I'll say about Kotetsu is he's got a complete eight. poker face. You just cannot read what is going on inside of him at all. Absolutely not. But it's a beautiful right hand. He didn't tend to didn't see it coming. Let's see what Kotetsu does here. Does he try and finish his man off? He's getting behind the jab. But he understands Kent is a wounded fox and still dangerous, so he's still composed. Hey, hey, yeah. Ooh, uh, low uh, blow uh, again. Uh, the worst timing for one of those to land. Yeah, I think, you know, well, worst timing for Kotetsu, but for Kentu, it's a, it's a good chance for yeah, some recovery no, exactly. upstairs. Great. Although it's horrible to get hit there, great timing for Kentu because he gets some time to <laughs> get his bearings back. Yeah, below the waist you might need to recover. Um, above the waist you can... Uh, Use that time to clear. Yeah, yeah, just you know, it's an, it's enough. It rings rings the bells, man. And uh, you know, un unfortunately, when you have these southpaw orthodox matchups, it just happens. It does. It seems a bit more significant than the last one, doesn't it? But he's uh, he's, he's doing the jig. He's doing the jig, which is normally a good sign that he's going to get back to action soon. Yeah, well, take take a little time. Let yourself, you know, take advantage of the moment. Let yourself. Uh, you know, re regain some footing um, for, for the battle that is to continue. I think Kenta's going to come out strong here. I think if he's just used that time wise, so I think he's going to come on strong here and change tactic. Yeah, Kotetsu Co man is just emotionless. Ice man. He is, he is, man. Mm. He's, um... Oh, wow, well, and then Kenta landed a clean little shot there. You know... He's put his hands up, but sometimes that is the sign that the shot did land and that indeed it was a down. Yeah, Kotetsu's laughing it off. It's clearly a flash knockdown if, if it did land yeah. clean. First um, bit of emotion there from Kotetsu. He's going to want to come back now. He's clearly clear, and he's clearly not happy about that. He thought he was in command. He's going to want to take it back. Yeah. Let's see if he lives up to his nickname, the uh, uh, crushing tiger, the blow crushing tiger. You know, and he needs to make sure that he doesn't get too emotional here. Mm. Yeah. Not fight at the range where he was having his best luck. If he hangs out in real close, he might give Kenta uh, opportunities to land big punches. I think the Iceman has let the emotion in. Let's see if it pays off because he's coming on strong here, pinning Kenta against the ropes. He does not like what the judges just saw. Oh, no. He wants to make up for that. Look at, oh, here we go. Yeah, nice right kick there. Blessed. Kenta needed to move a little bit more. Kotetsu was willing to throw down to make up for that. And he should have used his movement. Wow. <laughs> there was a little bit uh, on, on the end of that, but he just pulled it at the last yeah. moment. Well, somehow they both make it out of that round. Um, not sure. It doesn't look like, you know, whether that was a down or not, it doesn't look like Kotetsu was, was rocked by it. Kenta, though, did take some significant damage that round. He did. I'd like to see the rematch of Kotetsu knockdown. I'm wondering if it was clean, like he got up so well, you know, he looked, he didn't even look like he needed to recover. Yeah. And if anything, 
that just willed him on to want to do more damage to Kenta. You know, what can happen sometimes is you're just you're going to be leaning back on a kick or something, and you just get tagged, and it really is more of a push than anything. But um, that was just the way it goes. Okay, looks like a bit of a slip there. Yeah, not right. sure. But that was solid. Was heavy, yeah. Ooh, Kenta. I wouldn't want to be in Kenta's corner right now. Mr. Bad Fist mm. is going to be coming out, and he better do something bad because he's on the back foot at the moment. And Kotetsu, well, he's just getting his momentum. Yeah, he looked, he, man, for 37 years old, he is looking real fresh, too. His condition is on point. Absolutely. This guy lives and breathes it. You can see it in his body. He's, uh, he's dense and he's lean. And he's moving in. He, you know. Kenta needs to move. Oh, he's going to the body, it, too. He's getting the variety. He's hurting that body. Kenta doesn't want to be there. He needs to move off the ropes now. You know, and that's the old veteran there, because you, when, when, uh, when a part is, uh, your opponent is damaged somewhere, you need to just hit that spot again and again. It can be the hardest thing to do to not stick with it, but when you stick with something, you don't have to hit it 100% every time. No. If they're hurt to the liver, you just gotta touch that thing again, and it'll be like a massive meal. <laughs> Absolutely, it's, uh, it's the volume. The law of diminishing returns does not apply here. Yeah. You can just keep landing. And the thing is, you've got to create opportunities. You see the way he's going up there? Yeah. Oh! Nice, nice look. He had it close to the body, and that set up the finish. On the job. Yeah, he created that opportunity to play it off. Textbook. Look at him, he's not even breathing heavy. I mean, <laughs> look at the conditioning of this guy. His hair's not out of place. Freak Man 37. 25. Looking really good there. Jealous. I'm jealous. I wish I had that 37. Wow, nice win. Nice, nice performance too. And the thing is, too, he had to battle through um, some tough points. Kenta came out real strong in the opening stands of the first round. Um, and whether it was a down or not, um, he had to fight back mentally from uh, the ref counting it down on him as well. So good job. Kotetsu is smart too, driving the knees, avoiding the clinch, throwing the knees within the little set, and then on the hook. Very good experience. Look at the way he just created that opportunity. It's such a tight hook. I mean, there's not many people who can generate much power from there. Absolutely beautiful. Kent has got a lot to learn. A lot to learn. It's good experience for him so young. Yep, and he's in there with the legend himself, Yoshihiro Sato. This has to be a good moment for Kotetsu. Getting the win, get, getting to represent um, the new K1 gym in Okinawa as well, as well. K1 UQ gym. Absolutely. Well, he's got his goal of trying to bring K1 back to Okinawa a little bit more, so this is going to go a fair way towards that. Yeah, good for him. They've got such a rich history with boxing and uh, karate, karate as well. はい、え、沖縄から来ました。京安寺武器、チーム龍神小田です。あの、しっかり僕がいろんな意味で京安寺武器をでっかくしていかないと、え、できないと思うんで、僕は祝、しっかり京安寺武器をでっかくしていくんで、皆さんどうか沖縄京安寺武器をよろしくお願いします。あと、あの